A Milwaukee streetcar has not yet moved on the tracks, but the fight is going full steam ahead. Yeah, the $65 million streetcar, funded mostly by federal funds, was approved about a year ago. It was a 10 to 5 vote by Common Council. So why derail it now? Fox News' Myra Sanchek here with that. Well, you might remember a heated exchange between Alderman Bob Donovan and Alderman Bob Bauman over this issue last week. Donovan was one of the five voting against it, and now Donovan wants to put it to a referendum. Another alderman, who is a main supporter of the project, had a lot to say about Donovan making the streetcar an issue now, about a year after it was officially approved. Flanked by supporters at a Southside bar, Milwaukee Alderman Bob Donovan said they are taking to the streets with petitions in hand to stop the Milwaukee streetcar system from being built. They are asking the mayor and Common Council to put it to a referendum. I have no doubt in my mind of the citizens of Milwaukee do not support this. Last week, a news conference call by Alderman Donovan got heated. To what when Alderman Bob Bauman argued with him, Donovan slammed his fist on the podium. When I slammed my hand on the podium, I'm pretty certain Alderman Bauman soiled his pants. <laughs> Tuesday, Alderman Nick Kovac, who sponsored the streetcar proposal when it passed the Common Council last year, is now the one who's heated. I know what will happen if we listen to his mischaracterizations. We will lose jobs, we will lose economic investment, and it will be bad for public transit. Kovac says more than $50 million in federal funds for the streetcar would fuel downtown development. Donovan says the money should be put towards other projects, something Kovac says is not possible. Guess what? If we don't take this federal money and make this investment, that money is going to Illinois. It's going to St. Louis. It ain't staying here. And for him to imply otherwise, is an insult to the intelligence of the citizens and the taxpayers of this city. Congress can change their mind. Now, admittedly, it takes leadership, guts, determination to get that done. True freedom is not being stuck in traffic if you don't want to be, is not having to look for a parking spot if you don't want to. Some of my colleagues don't like this. They uh, back me in the corner. By God, I grew up on the playgrounds where you come out swinging when that happens. And that's just what we're going to do. Alderman Donovan says he wants the mayor to say if he's elected governor, will he put state funds into the streetcar if he supports it so much? The mayor and Alderman Bauman, who argued with Donovan last week, were not available for comment today. Donovan says he's raising the issue now because the mayor is running for governor and he was busy with his own re-election campaign last year. Fred? Very interesting. Thank you, Myra. The Milwaukee Common Council cracking down on vandalism to vacant buildings. It has approved a plan to use the WeTip hotline to report vandals. Aldermen say vandalism can lead to